Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hatsus here and welcome back to more Factorio, where we are today at our rocket factory. And we are in the phase where we are looking at how much science pack we are producing, how can we boost it, um, where do we need, need to tweak things. And so let's have a look at where we stand. Let's look at the last 10 hours because I have been quite a while AFKing to build up uh, modules. And here we can see in the last 10 hours we basically only produced yellow signs and uh, space signs. If we look last hour, last hour was only uh, a space signs. And we can see um, yellow signs we're producing more than uh, than space signs and both are at around 60 bottles per second uh, which means roughly one science pack per second and what I observed here is this is due to two factors either we are lacking the rocket control units because we don't have uh, enough uh, blue circuits. Uh, we don't have enough blue circuits because we are lacking uh, sulfuric acid. So I tried to counteract that by adding two more trains for sulfuric acid. And at least at the moment, it's looking good maybe we need even more because we have uh, seven trains nine stops so there are two stops currently that don't have a train waiting there the other thing is low density structures which currently is quite full but here we can see uh, the number goes goes down we are producing less than we are consuming and if we have a look at this belt it's pretty clear why that's the case not enough copper so if I look at our copper smeltery factory um, currently everything is running but i also have seen uh, situations where the uh, first furnaces were not running because the the inserters just could not grab um, materials from the belt so maybe upgrading them to uh, stack inserters might help and then we have here this set up we have six chests that uh, unload on two belts but everything on on one side of the belt so what i think we want to do here is get a bit of of room here put this to the outside this to the to the middle um, and then have something like this we did this already in the in the last episode for uh, for one uh, system where we improved the, the loading so if we then bring this together here and here and here
And then we can probably upgrade this to blue. This as well. Because the thing with the underground, that's that's blue belt mechanic. So if we manage to put in as much ore as, as possible so that it stops here and all our furnaces are glowing hot, we are producing as much uh, copper as we can. And when we designed this setup, uh, let's see, yeah, we still have it here. The, this was really, really balanced. Uh, if, if we see here, uh, we have this copper here and then the, 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 the copper wires. And of course, the copper wires pull out um, maybe more copper than we currently need for the end product um, for uh, all the circuits. But in the end, circuits at some point will, um, will fill up, like we have here this, this kind of situation. Um, and when that happens, then basically the copper wire will also uh, back up and we will be in a situation where these factories no longer need to produce as much uh, uh, copper wire um, as we have. But if we are in a situation like this, where we have everything on, we do not uh, consume uh, the materials fast enough. So maybe we can add a few beacons to, uh, to speed the whole thing up. And eventually we will get to a point uh, like we are right here where one material is, is just uh, running out. And I think currently we are in a situation um, where we are producing max amount of, uh, ah, yeah, there are not enough green circuits to fulfill, to keep up running all our, um, our machines here because we also need bit of green circuits here down the line but eventually I figure that will back up um, currently uh, those are siphoned off here that's probably the the main consumer here on on this end and uh, not really much we can we can do about it but if we look at uh, where we stand with uh, now, we are up to a hundred per minute. Um, and we, that's basically almost double the, the, the previous amount. So that's good. And I think at this point, we have tweaked our existing factories as much as we can. So we have done the vertical scaling by improving with beacons, with modules. So now we step in to the horizontal scaling uh, where we basically add more factories to our setup. But 
of course in order to decide what exactly we should add we have to consider uh, which science we are lacking the most and currently we're missing this one here military science Okay, because we have a backlog here, a deadlock. Train cannot leave because we have a train stuck here. So let's move that to here. That should help with that. And now the other train is gone as well. Things do happen while you're AFK. And with that train loading, uh, here should be should be full pretty pretty soon. Um, we also have uh, red and green science train loading and red green oh and chemical science so we should uh, we should soon see those factories kick in again and then we can have a proper look at where we need to scale next we had this running for a while and what i did is i connected all the uh, chests here with uh, with wire so we can easily see how many bottles science packs we have in the chests and we see uh, the one that's lacking behind is of course space science and if we look here um, the science labs they are flickering a bit and if we look in here we can see we have more than one bottle for most of them but uh, for space science there we are flickering the most and the difference is here for most of the science we are pulling them from top down um, and for the space science it goes left to right so space science needs to go through all these um, these science labs so I think what we can do is um, upgrade all these uh, inserters with stack inserters um, of which I don't have enough in, in my pocket and then we also can increase the speed of the of the labs by inserting speed modules here but I think that will be the next step as if we look let's have a look at the two 10 minutes uh, there we see we are currently at a consumption of 200 bottles per minute and production science space science uh, we are only producing at half that rate uh, everything else is uh, 200 or above or does not even show up here because we have not produced anything uh, in the last 10 minutes so we will have to plop down another factory for space science what we also might consider 
is power. Currently you can see we have a bit of spare, but I would assume uh, adding another factory for space science that would use probably a hundred megawatt, maybe more. Um, so I think what we will do first is go out here, plop down another um, another uh, another uh, island for yet another f uh, uh, nuclear power plant for additional 500 megawatt of power and that should help us in the in the next set of expansion and then i think we could probably with a bit of landfill down here um, have the the second space science rocket silo factory uh, in this area so uh, that would pre require a bit of preparation uh, of the rails going around here uh, and then we can see what else we need of course our uh, ores are running low I think this patch is is completely dry just have a bit more here in the in the chess but then that's it so we have this one this one this one here above and then we will have to look for other ones and probably we also want to keep an eye on, on copper down here i led some of the tracks just enough to see uh, where we need to uh, add a bit of landfill so we can place the track properly but nothing more however here on this side we have one additional uh, nuclear power plant it's it's the same thing as as we have before and now we can produce up to 1.6 gigawatt of power which currently we are using a bit more than half of it but I think um, it's time to go ahead and make a copy of this. Um, here we want to have the whole thing, I think. Because we don't have the, the rails coming down. And until this is finished i will have to go back and forth quite a few times for materials so that will take me a while and while all this this is happening um this arm patch completely run dry so currently we're only running on this one and this one up here oh we have a tiny bit in here but that's not really enough so we probably will have to hook up another one and uh, also copper as mentioned previously but let me finish this setup first uh, then we hopefully can see uh, where we stand with, uh, with resources and, um, and materials, how much uh, output we are then actually producing um, with this additional rocket factory um, and so on. 
all pieces are placed down and we are producing rocket parts for our next rocket. Uh, as you can see, the, the belt is not yet fully backed up, uh, but hopefully this will only be uh, a matter of time and this setup should double our output of space science given that we can supply with enough materials. And speaking of that, uh, I already did quite a few times. That's probably something I will work on a bit in the background, because in one week from today, Factorio 2.0 comes out along with the DLC. And when that happens, I really want to get my hand on, on that game, which means this series has to be finished by then, um, with the consequence that uh, I have to put in uh, a bit of effort here, uh, letting the game run day and night, uh, so we can get the, the, the progress, uh, and then see where we need to tweak things. And I think from here on out, I will really focus on, on the uh, essential parts, like when we do an expansion or improve things, and not so much anymore. Okay, let's hook a new uh, iron field. Uh, we need more, um, more copper. So uh, basically the, the new stuff. And we might also see a bit more videos in this coming week, uh, just to, to get everything that happens out there. But that's it. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you pretty soon. Goodbye.